back to PSU Speaker CGF Walkthroughs for 2018. Today we're going to be doing the problem Buffer Overflow 1. It's a 200 point problem under the category of binary exploitation. So what this gives us is a C program. Can yeah, they give us it. this C program I already have. And if we run it, it asks us for an input. We can put in anything like, like password. And then it tells us, okay, time to return. And it jumps to some address that's telling us. So if we look at the source code, um, we can see that there is a win function that prints the flag, which is nice. There's also this vuln program, and it takes in our input, and then it tells us where it's going to the return address. So what we want to do is we want to overflow this, obviously because of the name. So we use a very large input. And the reason why we do the alphabet um, multiple times is so that we can see exactly where yeah. it overflows. Yeah, we want to know which place in this long string is actually going to overflow the, um, so I think that's long enough. Yeah. All right, so you can see now the return address changed and it's now, um, this is the L's actually, 6C is L and ASCII. So now we can just replace these L's with any address and it'll um, take us to wherever we want. So we'll assemble this. And if we go to the win function, where is it? Okay, here's the win function. We can get the address. And now all we have to do is input that same string all the way up to L and then just replace L with the win. with the yeah, address of win. So I'm going to use a script for this. I'm actually just going to go into the actual shell server uh, for Pico CTF because obviously even if I get it to print the flag on my own oh, oops I forgot to put in my username even if I use my own uh, machine it has to be in their shell or else it will have the flag because it's not on my computer all right so we're gonna go to the directory and basically we need to pipe it in so I'll use Perl because we have a lot of unprintable characters in the address so we're just going to use well, Perl to take care of that for us Oops. Let me get string in. and then I think the address was slash x cb slash x85 slash x04 slash x08 and the reason why it's backwards is because it's using little india yeah and then so we just pipe this into the program it should give us a flag yay 